Where have you been?
Welcome back. Oh, my God. 
Welcome back. Where have you been? Just a bit 
sub, dude. Mind if I interrupt? I was just told by the chairman that he'll be stopping by this evening. When you get back, come to the fourth floor meeting room. Oh, um, okay. I'll see you all later. Koro-chan, give me your paw. Oh, hi. Hey, you're back. Oh, he was just walking down the street. Koro-chan, go say hi. His name's Koro-maru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. This dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. That explains it. Well, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? It was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog sits patiently by the sight of the accident. And he goes for a walk every day, just like when his owner was still alive. Oh, shoot, I have to get going. My son will be back soon. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Wait, isn't the chairman coming today? Then we should go get ready. Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. This concerns those shadows that have been appearing during full moons. I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while, 
It's like their class or order. Now, I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and it's simply fascinating. And? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. Is that something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There's 12 in all. Eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Fuka. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question. And that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. It can be considered predation. But is it really? Is there an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last, so we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. What about Tartarus? Why does it even exist?
This shadow is an emperor. Don't overdo it. I summon thee! I failed to finish it off. Help me!
Oh. 